The, the dish that we're going to do ne next, which is going to be uh, your last savory courses, is um, we're going to do a pan roasted chicken, the breast, the leg, and the thigh that, that we boned out, but we left the skin on because the skin is delicious. Um, and we're going to serve it with a shaved uh, raw asparagus salad. I, I very rarely serve starches with proteins. I tend to do a lot of shaved raw vegetable salads or uh, things that add texture and crispness and a little bit of acidity um, with the protein because I, I, I like the juxtaposition of a little bit of fat with something kind of crunchy and acidic to kind of cut through the fat. So like when, when you could create texture with the dish, um, you know, to me it makes it a much more exciting thing to eat. You got a little bit of crunch, a little bit of the protein, um, and it's just a much more enjoyable eating experience. The first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this chicken, and you can see it's, it's all connected, and it's the, the breast, the leg, and the thigh, and we're gonna put it on this cutting board, and I want you to season it with a little bit of salt. Good, all right. And this is another good trick too, is when you season, season from high. You know, so it's, it goes nice and even across the meat. Okay. We have our pan, we're over medium heat here. I'm gonna put a little bit of fat in the pan. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this, and whenever you're putting proteins in a pan, you wanna set them away from you so they don't splash. Do you wanna try? So like don't set them towards you or don't drop them from above. So just gently put it in. There you go, perfect. We're in. All right. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on our little vegetable salad here. So this asparagus has already been cleaned, but if, if you look at a piece of asparagus, um, and you know how the end is kind of white and whatever, you don't even have to cut it. If you grab every piece of asparagus and you bend it, wherever it snaps is where it should naturally break. And you could just do that on your own. And then we're just gonna cut it into ribbons. So I just grab a knife peeler, put this flat on my board, and we just keep going straight down to form those ribbons. All right, now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna supreme some oranges. Now I'm doing it with an 11 inch chef knife. You could certainly do this with a paring knife um, or whatever knife that you're comfortable with. All right, and all that we're doing is we're taking the skin off the orange and then we're gonna take the knife and we're gonna put it in between each one so we get all flesh and that's it, all right? So we go in between the membrane and the flesh and we just keep going down and we get these beautiful segments of orange. So in the bowl, we have the shaved asparagus. We're gonna add, that's good enough, that's good. We're gonna add, I'm gonna add the oranges that I did. You wanna add the ones that we cut. We're gonna take the remaining orange and squeeze that extra juice in there. It won't give us quite the acidity we're looking for, so I'm gonna put in a splash of uh, white wine vinegar. You put a splash in. Slightly bigger splash. And now a vinaigrette, a vinaigrette is always, if you're thinking about it, this isn't something that you should ever need to buy. A vinaigrette is essentially one part acid, two parts fat. Now, if you like it more acidic, you put in more acid. If you like it a little fattier, you put in more fat. But if you could visualize it in your head, whenever you put a lemon or vinegar or whatever, if you double the amount of fat, you have dressing. All right, so oil me up, baby. Perfect. Okay, to that, a pinch of salt, put in a little bit of chili flake. We'll put in some toasted macadamia nuts. We'll take some chives and we're gonna cut them um, a little bit on the larger side because they're gonna become part of the salad so this isn't like a dice. And now you guys look, see like, I, when I, I, I saw it kind of popping so I pulled it over but you see how we have that great caramelization? 
Do you guys see that? That's, that's what you're looking for. You want to get that caramelization on there. That's where the deliciousness is. Now we're going to put this in the oven to finish it. But before we do that, I'm going to baste it a little bit. And this is a great trick you could learn at home. Um, and I'm just going to do it with things that I have by me. If you're cooking fish or meat and you want to give it a little flavor boost, you know, you could put in, I'm, I have sage here, so I'm putting in some sage. But you could put in rosemary, any hard herb, um, shallots, you could put in a garlic clove. And you put in like a teaspoon of butter. And after you flip it, you let that butter start to melt. And you could smell what's happening right now. In this case, it's sage. So the butter's taking on the flavor of the sage and the shallot. If we had a garlic, it would take, out the, take on the flavor of the garlic. You tilt the pan towards you a little bit and you take that flavored butter and you baste your chicken with it. And again, you could do this with fish too. Um, and then you have this kind of additional sauce and flavor that you're adding to it. I'm now gonna take this, I have, uh, I have the oven at about 450 degrees. I have it set on a, a roast setting um, and I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it finish. This will take about 10 minutes to 12 minutes in the oven to cook, which I didn't want you guys to wait and watch that, so we have one right here. Um, <clears throat> now, toss that together. So I'm gonna take the chicken out. I'm gonna cut it into pieces, lay it on my plate. We have this beautiful salad. No, I'm not, you're fine. We have this beautiful sale. We just want to toss it evenly. And then we're going to take those oranges, the chives, the asparagus, and just kind of lay it right on top. And it's going to give us that really nice kind of crunch. A little bit of extra virgin oil around it. And then we have some Parmesan. You want to put some Parmesan uh, on there? Right on top like that. So you guys, that's, that's a, again, a simple dish, very uh, seasonal, very spring, very simple to do, um, with just nice, clean, clean flavors. And to me, that's really what food is all about. <laughs>